And Trey Turner literally comes in stole to, a run. Stole yeah. a run, and that's what that's the Trey Turner everybody thought the Phillies were getting when they signed him in the off season. When you look at what he did today, two for three, two runs scored, three runs batted in, mm -hmm. batting average up to almost 250. And you know what the difference is between a 250 average and a 300 average is one hit per week during the course of a season. What are you getting at? I'm there, getting Jim? that he's going up, man. He's on the upswing. Well, he's he's definitely swinging the bat a lot better. He's getting he's not missing the pitches out over the middle of the plate, and we're, we're not seeing him chase. I, th I think the biggest key to him is stay off of that pitch that's above your your shoulder line, and I think he, he could be in really good shape right now. It, look, it looks like he's got everything going, at least in the right direction. I mean, his swing looks very good. Uh, he's get, when, when he gets pitches to hit, he's not missing them. So yeah. if I, I think that's all positive. Yeah, right I like now. the fact that he spit on some sliders down and away. We've seen him fish for those in recent games, but he did not do that today. It's almost like he was picking the ball up a lot better and we don't we go fishing for those you've got to have a lot more success to the clubhouse we go here's Rob Thompson on this win how fortunate do you feel after a game like that yeah I mean you know it didn't look good but I thought we we had some really good at bats in the eighth inning and they you know we got fortunate too again um, but they you know our guys kept grinding and got it done how do you assess a series given some of the miscues that the Mets made? They made a bunch on Friday and then a bunch today. Yeah, I, you know, you got to take advantage of it, and I think we did. Uh, we had some miscues too, so um, which we have to clean up. But um, yeah, you just got to take advantage of the situation. Regardless of how it happened, you went two or three against the Mets, a team that struggled with since our last year. How does that feel? To yeah, it feels good. I mean, they're a good ball club, and um, you know we haven't had much success against them lately. So it feels good to have some and win another series and get a day off tomorrow, and then we got to take down another hot club on Tuesday. So, um, but it feels good. How much does this win sort of just flip the narrative on the homestand? It could have been a one and four homestand instead. It's yeah, I mean, three, yeah. it feels a lot better than two and three. Feels a lot better than one and four. You, now you want to be five and zero, but um, but it does feel a lot better, and and I'm happy with the guys the way they they kept fighting. Bone trying to stretch that single into a double is that a factor? If you guys could it be a factor of not having a lot of extra base hits and trying to get trying to get an extra base? Yeah, it's you guys just being over aggressive, trying to do too much, and they you know, and it's it's a um, it's a conversation that you have to be careful with because if if you if the message is wrong then nobody's ever trying to take an extra pace. So you got to be careful with that. But, um, but yeah, we've, we've done that a lot this year, and, and we need to somehow find a happy medium. Do you think you found the right message as far as like, telling the guys about uh, getting outs on the bases? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Paco was always talking about it. I'm always talking about it. Um, and we've done a much better job, you know. JT got thrown out the other night, and then boom tonight. And, um, so we just got to keep hammering the message home. What did you think of Wheeler? I thought it was good. You know, early there were a lot of kind of soft hits, and then um, and then as the outing went along, he started to he started to hit the ball a little bit harder. But um, but he was good. You know, he goes into the sixth inning and um, just grinded through his outing. What made you want to push him there and just uh, start the sixth inning? He said he felt great. You know, he came off. He was pitch count was I don't know 90 something, something like that, and he said he felt great. And he's one of our horses, and he's going to have an extra day. So. Touch on a little bit that eighth inning. Ten, ten guys that played four runs only had one hit. Yeah. Seen anything like that, or just if not, just what's the, what are you thinking as that's unfolding? Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I've I've seen it before. I, I may have. I don't know, but. Um, the chances are unlikely, I think, but uh, but I think that uh, you know there were a lot of really good at bats built in there, and I know there were two hit bat hit batsmen, but um, but I thought there were some good at bats built in there, and they just pass the baton and let the next guy get to the plate. Yeah, I mean he had a great great game. Bomer had a great really good game swinging the bat. Um, you know Trey showed. Um, how he can score a run on his own, yeah. Um, and he drove the ball today, and uh, yeah, it was really good.
Rob Thompson on his team's win today as unlikely as it may have been. He says yes. Uh, a two and three homestand is way better than a one and four homestand. Sure looks a lot better. We'll come back 